Nanotechnology is here, and the ways it could help us may be limited only by our imaginations. It's what you would call an enabling technology, which can make almost anything that we use at the moment better. Maynard's first example is energy. If you look at our ability to generate renewable energy, there are a number of solutions that nanotechnology is seeming to provide that aren't available from conventional technologies. That ranges from building stronger and lighter wind turbines to creating nano generators that use our own kinetic energy to power things like cell phones. Medicines as we know them could also change forever. We've made huge strides in treating cancer, but still our approaches to cancer treatment are incredibly crude. You basically try and kill the cancer before you kill the person. That's not sophisticated medicine. With nanotechnology, we're beginning to develop this ability of creating targeted medicines which will actually go directly to the cancer cells and destroy those cells while keeping the rest of the body fairly healthy. Then there's one of our most basic needs, clean water. Looking out 40, 50 years from now, there are a number of people that, that think that water and water resources are going to be one of the biggest issues facing us over the next century, simply because there is not enough clean water to go around, which means we need technologies for taking the, the salty water we have, the dirty water, the contaminated water, and cleaning it cheaply, efficiently. We can't do that with conventional technologies. But carbon nanotubes, magnetic nanoparticles, and other nanomaterials could filter dirty water. So those are the three areas which particularly excite me. I think there are a number of other areas like the possibility perhaps of building a, a space elevator, which is, it, it's borderline science fiction, but here you have a technology where because you can create such novel, unique new materials, you could possibly create a tether between the Earth and a satellite and use it as the basis of an elevator for getting people up and down into space in a way which is totally unique and totally different to anything we've done before. For Discovery Channel, I'm Jorge Ribas.